What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in for the final round lead card coverage, 30th annual Tahoe Pro-Am presented by MVP Disc Sports here at Bijou Community Park, South Lake Tahoe, California. Coming at you, Spanky Edwards, my buddy, Dan Double and Turner. We're here in the premium disc golf studio and we've got a heater going. Yeah, welcome back. This is the back nine. This is where the shooters shoot right here, down to the wire. Uh, we got Tristan 12 down so far, right? On the first 18. Yeah, he just went on fire. Yeah, he's banging. He's he's created a pretty good bit of separation for himself. Brian's given himself a lot of opportunities. Some of the putts just aren't falling, but he is right there in the mix. Yeah, let's see if he can turn it on here and, and uh, catch up to Tristan. It's going to be tough if he keeps playing the way he's playing. He's making every putt, and he's throwing every drive almost perfectly. So, Yeah. Dustin's out there having fun. Hole 19, 324 up this left tunnel. It's kind of a low ceiling, high floor shot. Tristan trying to flip one over. Got mostly down there. Let's see if he, I'm not sure if he would be pinched at all with that putt. I feel like that's kind of like the best break you can get is like just on the edge there. Because if you go into those bushes at all, like it's just a pitch out. Agree. This is kind of what it should look like. Yeah. Tall grass a little bit, but he probably scooted up still into the circle, no problem. Win, looking pretty clean. I think if you're like missing it all, like just fading out left is definitely like ideal. Yeah, just make sure you get long of the bushes, which shouldn't be hard. They're not that far away. Just yeah. get long but of the bushes. It is a tunnel, left. you know. Like even that shot looked like it could have been close to the corner of those bushes. Mm -hmm. Dustin's just I feel like licking his chops and shots like this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he came up a little bit short though. Yeah, he's putting though. Ah. Yeah, other than the drive, not too much danger on the putt. Oh, wow. Great putt, Peter. Yeah, that was all of 43 feet. Yeah, you can miss and slide a little long and not really be too stymied after that. Looks like Tristan's not pinched off. Oh, Ooh. just off the cage. But just enough obstruction where those branches are sticking in your back and you can't really fully extend there you go Quinn great birdie oh yeah Ryan got way up here easy bird there you go B that's two in a row for him looking like just three birds and two pars He's bummed about that one. All right, here we go. Hole 20. 300 feet. Where is this one? Is this on the stump? Yes, on the stump. Oh, okay. Sorry, I wasn't here that day. No, yeah, you're good. 300 foot hyzer, pretty much uh, stock hyzer, I would say. This is a little inside from Quinn. If it gets clean, though, I might scoot up there for a putt. This is one of those baskets, though. It's like you want to be pretty close or you, like, want to be in the layup zone because you can get... We saw round two, I think it was McGill, who, like, four-putted. You know, it's just... It can add up fast. Yeah, I want a, I want an 80-footer or a two-footer. <laughs> yeah. Don't tempt me with that 40-footer because I'm going to go for it. This is one of the more elevated baskets you'll see in any disc golf tournament, I think. Yeah, I'm actually not tall enough to get my disc out without the staircase. I'm thinking, I'm like, could I dunk on this basket? Uh, <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that was a good bid. That's the best miss, is just hit and fall straight down. Even that now, he's got yeah. a little comebacker. Yeah, he doesn't really rip his putts too hard, so. Yeah, he's got, the, again, that low to high putt. So Tristan's, they, yeah, they he's more likely nice. to stick around. See if Quinn can get a little 17-foot birdie here. There you go, no Quinn. No problem. Back-to-back -back birds. Mm. 
It's turbo time, Spanky. <laughs> yes, Peterson, thanks for the flare. Maybe out of necessity, but we, we love it. Oh, look at that. Brian brought it back to within two of Tristan. Yeah, that's three in a row for Brian. He's got the box. Hole 21, 288. Uh, kind of an unfair way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pick your <laughs> gap play. and try and get down there. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of not gaps here. Yeah, Quinn found one of them. Yep. Forehand roller. <laughs> he didn't like it. Yeah, some people are. I mean, obviously, you, it clearly a lot of people are going with this forehand up the gut, but a lot of people are throwing backhand up the gut, backhand out to the right, backhand turnovers. Peter says trees. What trees? What trees? See if our leader can carve out a line here. I've even seen people that just are so sick of trying to hit the middle that they just go way left and play the par. <laughs> like, yeah. Where, you know. I do attack right at it. but Dustin looks like he got that one up close enough for a tap out three. See if Quinn can do the same. Peter for two. Nice. Birdie, birdie, birdie. There we go. Ryan, four birdies in a row. All of a sudden, he's just two strokes back of Tristan. Tristan's like, hold on, hold on. I got this. Eh, six more holes, though. Yeah, Things can change well, fast. Exactly. It's just nice to be parked when you're closest competitor is chasing by two and makes the bird. Uh, hole 22, 306 feet. This is an interesting one. The camera might not do it the best justice. It's, it's fairly downhill actually. And then the bushes are kind of tall and the branches are low. So the window is at, like just continually gets smaller and the branches Basically, by the time your disc gets to where it's supposed to be going, are about chest high from, yeah. from where you threw from. Yeah, so, the ba the top of the basket's right about at, like as high as your foot, your feet here. Like it's, yeah, you know, and, you mean. and it doesn't look that that way so much on camera. But this this backhand here, like that shot, so often gets caught up in the branches because you actually have to throw so much lower than you think. But a very fun shot, one of my favorites out here for sure. I like the roller play as well. That's what I throw. Yeah, I've seen you very I go successfully wide do it. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, the disc is a lot skinnier, you know, when it's vertical than it is wide ways, right? Yeah, and avoid the low ceiling, right? Yeah, and it takes the roof out of it. Quinn, nice bid for birdie there from a knee. But he'll have to settle for par. Peter just laying his up, didn't have a look at all. Yeah, those branches are... Tristan's huge. got a birdie window here. See if our leader can take it. Oh. Ooh. Honest bid. Did he go over that branch? That was sweet. I think so. Dustin a little bit low there. Brian, if he can make this, he'll be within one stroke. Oh. oh. Wow, Brian really turning it on. That's five in a row for Brian. Yeah, apply pressure. Let's go. This is what we like to see. Yeah. Battle at the top. You know if anybody else was making moves from like chase cards or anything, or these guys just kind of take off? Yeah. Um, Will Collins was banging. Uh, he went bogey free final round. Oh wow! Off a chase card. Ooh, sorry guys. This is hole twenty three, by the way. <laughs> Three hundred six feet. Um, Brian just threw a beautiful hyzer on the outside. This is in the B position. Um, I do think that that hyzer is the best play. Obviously, if you have a strong forehand, going up the gut is okay. But I just think there's a lot more to catch, and then maybe the flare away will get you a little harder, whereas with the 
the righty backhand, you can kind of stab into the ground and just stick it. Quinn electing the more direct approach. Yeah, I like Looks that. Looks like he got right a little caught actually. up, but probably circle's edge. If this gets clean, it should be pretty good with the skip here. Yeah. Oh, that hit a little early as well. He was past that last, last tree, though. It's Quinn from a knee from about circle's edge. Oh, sails a little high. Mm. Tristan, Ooh. good birdie there. I believe that Brian is parked, though. Yeah, Tristan. So I don't think he's going to gain anything on his closest. Oh, a little long. But yeah. Six in a row. Brian. Two orders of turkey in July. I mean, <laughs> officially on fire. Yeah, sketchy right here for his birdie. There you go, bud. That's a two. Yeah. We got a hole 24, 366, and oh, that's did not get the flip that he was looking for or the release point that he was looking for. Cause it looks like you see that flag there. It looks like the wind's... It's picked up a bit, huh? Yeah, probably whistling more than it has been all day. Just that afternoon wind. I don't know what time Tristan it is. also kind of high out of the hand. I don't really love it, but it is working. Yeah, we'll not the best reaction, but he's in circle two. This look... Oh, well. <laughs> hitting that tree is kind of normal, I guess, but that's kind of the line I expect to see is flirting with that right side tree, flipping something over a bit. I think everybody went kind of high. I don't know if it was the wind or what, or that's the play, but everybody kind of shot up, straight up out of their hand. This looks good from Quinn if it gets clean. Oh, that's because it's really good. That was an ace run. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was so good. I probably hung around nicely. Oh, this is a little early for Ryan. Ryan. He's got some serious meat left for a par. Yeah, there could even be an obstructed little tree in front of him. Sketchy with a good move, but just caught those last couple of trees. If he gets around those, he would have been parked for the par. Peter, just off the top band. This is Tristan for birdie? Yes. Oh. Mm, he wanted that one. Mm. Now here's Brian's look for par. A little straddle. He's 30 feet. Yeah, oh. those branches and that little pine, they get you. Brutal. After making six birdies in a row and getting one stroke of the lead, you know he's frustrated with the bogey on this hole. Yeah, he was chasing him down. Give, give Tristan a quick breather. Now, Peter came into this round as our leader, but uh, right now he's tied for, I think, third place. He's... Uh, he needs to finish strong here to maintain a podium position. Yeah. Looking like, you know, second or first are going to be out of the question at this point with only just a few holes, you know, three holes left to go. Right. Tristan ripping a forehand. This hole's tough. 378, way down to the right. These guys are kind of going more direct. Um... Yeah, I like the back end turnover more up the gut that's drifting yeah, left I to right. Yeah, I think players that play this course a little bit more, like you or I, know that there's a big alleyway on the uh, the turnover line. Yeah, these guys are almost just going directly at the trees and just hoping to get through them. I would, I would bet Brian goes for the big turnover. Yeah, like that. High nice. and there's drifting. There's a big hallway here. Just needed to hook up a little bit too cooked, but 
he got down there clean. He should have an easy up and down. You know, he's going to be running it. You know, with the scores as close as they are, he's going to try and make that. Definitely. Dustin putting the best move of the group on his disc. Fading out a little bit early, but... That's, that's honestly not bad, though. Way down there, yeah. That's like... He'll be like 50 feet. Deep sea two. It's like saying deep sea. <laughs> He'll be in the deep sea. Two. What? Oh, my gosh. Quinn with a Zephyr from heaven. Holy cow. Well, I knew it was the Zephyr. Tristan trying to sneak out of here with a par. Looks like he'll do just that. Peter oh. giving it a bid. Definitely a great bid. But he too will be selling for par. This is definitely a run. This here. is Brian's. He needs this. Oh, he so wanted to love it, but ultimately he did not. Here's sketchy pin high for birdie. Come on, D. Oh. Hey. Yeah, it gets a little like convoluted in those trees, but it's yeah. it's close enough that you're you're never really too upset that you got all the way there. Yeah. Good par. Looking like all pars for the card, I think. Yeah. Which I think this is probably, for me, one of my more parred holes where I don't often take the bogey, but I don't also don't often get the birdie on it. Yeah, I think that's fair. Because, I mean, even if you hit early off the tee pad, the upshot's not that hard. It's just hard to get all the way there on the drive. All right, so, hole 26 in the C position, 309. I feel like the distance isn't telling the whole story. This one's hard to get to. Uh, the forehand line up the middle, if you can get clean, is good. There's also a hyzer line out the right gap. Um, but, you know, you're, you're looking at a gap maybe halfway or two-thirds of the way down the fairway. And if you hit that, then you're just like, all right, like, I hope I get lucky the rest of the way. Um, Tristan holding on to a two-stroke lead with two to play here over Brian. This one, I don't know if it has the distance, but it got clean. He's asking for it to slow down. Yeah, well, maybe my eyes deceive me. We'll see what it looks like when we get down there. Maybe he just didn't want to skip down the hill. To the right of the basket, it does go a little downhill. Woo. So if you hit flat near the basket, you can definitely, you can see here, it definitely, you could fly way down to the right. Dude, did he just flick a Zephyr? He did just flick no, a Zephyr. No, he didn't. I no. saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. Quinn, are you playing tricks on us? What's going on? Oh, Tristan going for the dagger. Oh, Peter. So close. Here's Brian's look for birdie. Brian to get within one. Oh! oh. He really needed that, folks. Heartbreak Dang. hotel. That would that would he would have been one back with one to go. Sketchy one on the birdie. Nice hole. Yeah. The uh I don't want to say rare forehand, but he favors the backhand, so I love to see him throw a great forehand shot and then be able to capitalize and get the birdie. Definitely. Props to Mr. Evanger. See our chase card uh over there in hole twenty seven. Alrighty, I can't believe it's already coming to an end, but uh, this is our final hole of the Tahoe Pro-Am, 30th annual, 338. Look at that. Dustin gets to lead off the group. I love it. Yeah. That was a pretty good rip. Maybe came up a little bit short, though. Forehand guys like this, this forehand here. Tristan, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit inside to the right, but... He's putting. I like to throw the hyzer up the, you know, through these trees on the right and let it flip up and go. Yeah, I, I, I think it's the easiest way to get to the basket, but I also I prefer the backhand just for a distance. So mm -hmm. turning the backhand over up that gut just for me gets a little tricky, but I've definitely seen the forehand work mm -hmm. just fine. Yeah. Quinn wrenched on the forehand. He'd probably get up there to about 49 feet. Yeah, it's a little high for him. Let's see if Brian can make some magic happen here on our final hole. 
That gets clean. We need to skip. Get a skip. Okay. Well, he's got a birdie putt. Now he's going to have to bank on Tristan bogeying. <laughs> oh, Peter. Great bid. All right, Brian. Come on, baby. Oh, oh. let's go. It might not get the win, but it's a good way to finish. Dude, Brian capping off a very nice 13 down. 13 down, nothing to scoff at. Oh, Tristan got all the way up here, huh? This is his birdie putt. This is for the win. And that putt will also be for the win. <laughs> I'm surprised he was even going for it. Ah, when you're that close. Yeah, of course. But now he does need to make this. Tristan cut. Hey, congrats, buddy. There we go. Nice round. Tristan with a 14, 14. down, 1024 rated. So good. He's going to take down the 30th annual Tahoe Pro-Am by one stroke over Mr. Brian Peterson. Great battle, guys. Um, off our chase card, Will Collins shot a 12 down as well. 10-10 rated. There's Whoa. our leaderboard to tie Peter for third. Will at 11 down. Yeah. Quintana, 12 down. This guy's really crept up yeah, there. They made some big moves. Yeah, shouts to the local Tahoe guys, uh, Dylan, Justin, and Nate for top 10 finishes. And getting a little cash. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what a, what a fun round. Dude, Spanky, it's been good. That was a great <laughs> tournament. It was fun hanging, fun watching. I hope you guys like the coverage. Uh, yeah, coming up next, Legends of the Lake. Yes. That coverage will be out soon. Yeah, mark your calendars. That'll be dropping sometime in September, I think. Yeah. Well, hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, remember to check out Premium Disc here in South Lake Tahoe. The shop is always open. These guys are just a phone call away. So yeah, definitely. And also shout out to MVP Disc Sports for sponsoring the whole event, and making it all happen. I know the AMs are pretty happy with all the script they got, and the players packs were cool. Um, yeah, if you haven't played these courses, come play Tahoe, dude. It's fun. It's a good summer getaway. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again. We're out. Peace. Peace.